Good morning and welcome to the Yes Prep Virtual College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event today. We have some really fantastic schools with us and I'm excited to introduce them and for you to start learning more about them. My name is Jennifer, I'm gonna be your facilitator today. And before we get started, I have a few housekeeping announcements for you. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can, though, use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. You can ask a question that all of our schools can answer. Maybe you're looking for a certain major or type of program or activity. You also, though, can direct your questions to a specific school or schools by including the name of the school with your question. This is just one of many different sessions that are happening today for Yes Prep students. We hope that you have checked out the schedule on the website and signed up for the rounds to come. This presentation, like all of the session presentations, are being recorded, and they're going to be available in the coming days at the same website where you register, strivescan.com slash yes prep. All right, I am really excited to turn it over to our very first school this morning. We're going to be hearing from Arkansas Baptist University College. Arkansas Baptist, you're up. Good morning, good morning, Yes Prep. Thank you for having us back again this year. Um, we enjoyed last year, so we're happy to be back again this year. Hi, my name is Nicholas Sanders. I'm one of the admissions counselors and recruiters here at Arkansas Baptist College located in Little Rock, Arkansas. I'm just gonna give you a few little gems about our institution. And then if you have any more questions, like she said, like Jennifer said in the Q&A, you can ask where I can just send you my information. Nicholas, uh, can I jump in real quick? Are you gonna be sharing a screen or anything? Uh, No. Okay, just wanted to be certain that we weren't having a technical problem. Take it okay. away. Sorry for the interruption. Thank no, no, it's okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> as I stated before, if you have any questions after that, um, we can give, uh, ask them in the Q&A or I can send you my information uh, in the chat. As I was stating, we are the, uh, we're located here in Little Rock, Arkansas. We were founded in 1884. We're the second oldest uh, HBCU in the state of Arkansas. And um, one thing about ABC, just just brief history, is that we were started uh, at, right after slavery for teachers and ministers and freed slaves. So that's that, that's kind of a, a little bit of history about us. And then over the years, we um, formed into a liberal arts institution. So just a few of the degrees that you can uh, grab here at ABC, you can get your degree in criminal justice, uh, business management, interdisciplinary studies. Uh, accounting, just different things of that nature. So some key points that I want you to remember about ABC, okay? We're, we're a small but big institution at heart. So you're not gonna feel like you're just a name or a number, but we're gonna know you face to face. We're gonna, you're gonna be ingrained into our ABC family. So once you become, once you come to ABC, you're gonna always be a Buffalo. But some of them here more important things are we don't charge any out of state tuition fees. Uh, we're opening a Roman institution. We don't require any ACT or SAT for you to be accepted. However, we do require for you to have those to be admitted so our academic advisors can properly um, evaluate you going into your freshman year of school. Also, um, we offer three degrees. Oh, I'm sorry, we offer three scholarships. I'm sorry about that. That's the uh, ABC scholarship, that's the Dean scholarship, and that is the presidential scholarship. Another good thing about our scholarships, they are merit-based, meaning that our scholarships are based off your GPA. It's not based off any test scores. It's not based off any essays. It is based off your uh, final high school GPA. So the higher your GPA is, the uh, better the quality of scholarship that you will um, be able to apply for or that you will get. Just like any other HBCU, we do have an active um, campus. We have Greek life on campus. We have a men and women's basketball team, a men and women's track team. We have a wrestling team. We just started our uh, men and women's soccer team. We get ready to launch our softball team. So we have a lot of great things going on right now at our institution. I could go on for days about our institution, but those are the things that I just wanted to highlight for you today is our three main scholarships. Like I said, our ABC scholarship, our Dean scholarship, our presidential scholarship, the fact that we don't charge any out of state tuition fees, the fact that we are an open enrollment institution. So therefore what that means is in our eyes is, as long as you wanna go to school, we're gonna help you get here. And as long as you wanna you want to stay here, we're gonna make sure that you stay here. We're gonna make sure that you complete 
whatever task that you have in front of you. So as I tell all students, just because I work in admissions doesn't mean I can't help you in any other area, area here at the institution because our main goal is for you to reach your main goal. That way you can reach back and help pull someone else, pull someone else up and say, hey, yeah, I went to ABC, ABC helped me, ABC can help you and you'll forever um, be a Buffalo. Uh, to apply at ABC, oh yeah, we don't charge any application fees. And to apply at ABC, you could go to uh, arkansasbaptist.edu. You can go to, com to the Common Black College app, and then you can also go to the Common app. So again, the three ways you can apply with us is arkansasbaptist.edu, the Common app, and Common Black College app. And again, I just want to reiterate those three scholarships that we uh, currently offer are the ABC scholarship, the Dean scholarship, and the presidential scholarship. Oh, don't let me forget. We also just uh, launched our pre-nursing program. So we have a, a partnership here with uh, Arkansas Baptist Medical Health College that allows you to come in and get your associate's degree here and then you will finish up at their school. So again, I say, um, if you have any more questions that you want to learn more about us, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I will uh, put my information in the chat box. And thank you again, Yes Prep, for having us for the second time. Thank you, Nicholas, for starting us off and sharing Arkansas Baptist College with us. All right, we are moving on to school number two. We are going to be hearing from today next, Florida Memorial University. All right, can you hear me? Yes. All right, I will be sharing my screen as well. Let me just uh, get that up here one moment. Okay. All right, can you see my screen? Yes, we can see it. It hasn't gone to full <coughs> screen yet, but I'll give you a thumbs up when that happens. Gotcha. Good presentation, man. Give me one second, because I can't see both. I have to have it kind of like this. Is that okay? It is, it hasn't gone to full presentation mode yet. Okay. So, getting, Let's see here. Good you. Yep, perfect. One? Looks perfect. great. All right. Take it away. Welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Gail Nelson. I'm an admissions recruiter at Florida Memorial University. Uh, we are the only HBCU in South Florida. Uh, we're located in Miami, Florida, and we're a place uh, we can own your excellence. That's one of our um, slogans here. Um, each and every one of you offer something unique and different to the world. Uh, we don't know what you'll be uh, after you graduate and things like that. So we're a place where we can where you can discover your passion and kind of hone in on um, what you love to do. And that's a little bit about our school, just um, a culture of success. Uh, we actually started in 1879 in, <clears throat> in Live Oak, Florida. Um, I'll go to the next slide with that as well. But um, and HBCU is an amazing experience for um, every individual because it offers um, a place that was centered around providing access to those who have traditionally um, been denied. And so having that real uh, culture of success is something that um, every student should um, be around, not just uh, Black or African American. Like I said before, we started in 1879 in Live Oak, Florida. Um, and then due to racial tensions, we actually got ran out um, of that area uh, by the KKK um, and then moved down here in 1968 to Miami Gardens, Florida. Uh, we're right here by the Opelika um, Airport, the Executive Airport. Um, and I'll talk about that and some of our degrees um, in that field as well. Um, in 2010, we received a $5 million loan, um, I'm sorry, grant um, to build this state-of-the-art wellness center that um, houses our uh, basketball teams, volleyball teams as well. We do have um, men and women's football. We have uh, men's tackle football uh, and women's flag football as well. Here is a list of our some of our notable alumni. Uh, right in the middle there is Barrington Irvin, who is the first Black person to fly solo around the globe. Uh, top right is Sabrina Fulton. Uh, she's the mother of Trayvon Martin that we all um, know about, unfortunately. Um, she actually runs the Trayvon Martin Foundation out of um, our campus, so it's headquartered here. Um, we're ranked five in the state for elementary education. All our student athletes record a 3.0 uh, GPA or better. Um, and we have over 40 countries that are represented uh, here in our student body. Our student population is about, uh, let's say this year, we're bringing in about over, not, just over 960. 
Um, so it's a small campus, intimate environment to where you're dealing with um, your uh, professors in a more um, professionally intimate way. Um, they're subject matter experts in their exact field. So um, if you need internships, jobs, um, reference letters, <clears throat> you have access to your um, professors at any time uh, while you're here and while you're um, and once you graduate as well. Like I said before, we're also located in Miami. Um, so we're near all the top attractions. Uh, we're about 20 minutes from Miami Beach, Wynwood, Brickell, um, lots of city life. Um, it is 90 degrees year round here, very hot, um, but it is a beautiful environment. Um, and we literally learn where, where the world vacation. So having access to all this is amazing. Some of the student life here, we have 13 varsity sports, um, two junior varsity sports, the uh, sororities and fraternities, over 40 student clubs and organizations. And one of the things there about the student clubs and organizations is um, our students are encouraged to actually start their own uh, programs as well. A lot of our students have started their own social clubs. We now have eSports. Um, that's a big thing now. Um, and we're starting sports management as a program as well. Um, Ambassador Corral and the World Marching Band our marching band actually ranked number two um, amongst all HBCUs by ESPN recently. That's one of our notable um, achievements with that. Some of our uh, majors here, and this is a brief list, this isn't everything, but our most popular major is aviation. I said before that we're actually right behind the Opelika Executive Airport. Um, so we have our own um, aviation program. We have our own air traffic control tower here on campus. Uh, we have our own plane as well. So students that are in aviation and want to study aeronautical science can actually um, fly literally right across the street um, and get their um, flying hours in that as well. Uh, biology and nursing is one of our um, dual degree programs as well. And what that means is you get your degree in biology and in nursing in four years. And so we have partnerships with FIU, um, Florida International, and University of Miami to get you into their medical programs upon graduation. Um, criminal justice is also a big one, business administration. Um, I talked about um, esports and sports marketing and then our school of education as well. Um, here is some of our notable, um, I guess, highlights, success stories in each of our programs for the arts and humanities. Um, a lot of our students um, get partnerships, um, internships with big programs like uh, NASCAR, our school of business. We had some students that actually created this um, drink, milk drink that was sold on Amazon. Um, and then for computer science and mathematics, um, our students competed in something called Hackathon. It is an event hosted by Nike uh, in Portland, Oregon. Uh, and our baseball player actually won that last year. Uh, he got cash prize, um, something toward his uh, tuition as well. And Nike uh, geared him out from head to toe as well. And then esports, um, that's one of the biggest things in our environment, uh, in our economy today. Um, a lot of our kids are playing uh, sports online. So uh, we want to cater to every single audience. I'm not going to go through residential life um, because it is a longer video, but we do have our living and learning center and dorms um, and our traditional freshman dorms as well. Um, those are all um, separate. Our living and learning center dorms are more like uh, apartment style um, and our freshman dorms are more traditional. And there's our tuition. Um, there's a quick breakdown right there. Um, undergraduate is uh, 24000 a year. That's your tuition, your general fees, and your room and board. And undergraduate off campus is 16000 We're also on the Common App, the Common Black application, um, and we are rolling admissions. Our admission requirements is a 2.4 weighted GPA. We are test optional, so we don't need your SAT or ACT scores. And our application is free. If you can apply right there, but I will be in the chat as well. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Gail, for presenting Florida Memorial University to all of us this morning. All right, we've got two schools and, that we've heard from so far, and we've got four more to go. But before we do that, I know we've had some more attendees join us. Welcome. Just want to let you know that you should keep an eye on the chat. You heard um, Gail and Nicholas mention, you know, putting information in the chat so you can grab their contact info there. So keep an eye on it throughout the program today. And then also the Q&A button. That's your way to ask questions. So we hope that you will ask questions to our panelists to help make this more personal and get information that you want. You can leave a question for any representative to answer, or you can direct a question to a specific school. Just include the name of the school with your question. All right, we are moving on to our next school, and we are going to be hearing from Howard University. 
Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. And uh, let me see if I can get this to work. <laughs> let me share my screen. Where is that? Uh, can you tell me how to share Hi. this? Yeah, Renee, on the um, panel on your screen, there should be a green share screen button. There it is. I'm yeah. so used to using Teams now. All okay. the technology. We've all been yeah. there. Don't worry. It's been a while. Um, can you also, see my screen? It's coming. So give me one second. Yeah, it's sharing. Um, it isn't very large at the moment. It's doing a presentation mode, I'm hoping. There we go. It's showing format. Yeah, there we go. Also, um, so we can hear you. I can see your presentation. Um, are you going to be turning on your camera at all? No, I okay, that's it. Fine. No. So oh, sorry. This, this the screen. Can you see okay. that? Yep, yeah, it's all good. Full screen, ready to go. Take okay. it away. Fantastic. Um, Herb and I are here from Howard University, and um, I'm a Howard grad, chemical engineering department. And um, so I've been there, lived it. I also have my chemistry degree from Spelman College. So if you have any questions about, um, about specifically Howard, but also Spelman, I'm welcome, uh, more than happy to answer that for you. I strongly believe in HBCUs. So um, in terms of getting a nice, um, groundwork, um, a foundation for you to move forward in life. I'm currently the manager for Coke Engineered Solutions. Uh, so you don't have to necessarily stay technical if you are um, become a chemical engineer, but I'm here to talk about Howard and answer any questions that you have. What I'd like to do today is just to give you some, some quick facts about Howard University. It was founded in uh, March of 1867, it is a private university. It's currently ranked 83rd, and there's a lot of different numbers that factor into that. But um, I do want to share with you that Howard is one is the leading producer of African American students entering medical schools in the U.S. Uh, it's part of the National Science Foundation cities, um, as listed as one of the top producers of African American undergrad who would later earn PhDs in natural sciences. Um, it's, it's got, um, in terms of campus life, 21 division one sports for men and women. Um, they're swimming and diving. I know my kids are into swimming and diving. Um, over 200 plus clubs and organizations. Howard is known as the Mecca um, in terms of the fact that there's so many uh, top students who choose to attend Howard University. And I think that you will also find it that it's very welcoming. There are students from um, all walks of life that are there. Um, in terms of the campus, oh, thank you. Um, there are top five programs within Howard. There's biology, psychology, uh, political sciences, media, journalism, film, as well as nursing. Uh, and of course, there's this really great um, STEM program um, called the Karsh STEM Scholars Program. And it offers you the opportunity to um, go abroad. And uh, so if anybody's interested in that, let me know. I can give you more information about that. And of course, Howard Entertainment. There are accelerated programs that are offered um, that are listed there. Um, let's see, what else can I share? I have a, a partner, Herb Quaintance. Uh, if there's anything else you would like to share, Herb, I'm uh, more than happy to, to talk about that. But um, I'd like to highlight some notable um, alumni that we have with us that you see here on the screen. There's a new building named after Chagwood Bozeman, a um, famous actor, and as well as, of course, then Senator Kamala Harris, who's now the VP, and Tanahashi Coates. And we also have Felicia Rashad, who is now head of one of the departments. So there's lots to offer at Howard University in terms of student life, fraternities and sororities, but also for your technical um, degree. This is just some an, an overview of the class of uh, 2022 and the profile in case you're interested in that. Are there any specific questions that um, I could answer? Oh, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to share that. <laughs> um, that's all that I have. Are there, is there anything that you see in the chat that I need to respond to?
Am I still presenting? No, um, it, it looks like any questions you will be, you and um, your colleague can answer in the Q&A uh, question, but if your presentation is finished, then great, we can move on to the next school. Awesome. So let me stop great. sharing. Thank you so much, Renee, for presenting on Howard. My All pleasure. Right. We are moving on to our next school, and we're going to be hearing from North Carolina A&T State University. Good morning, my name is Chanel Quick, Associate Director of Transfer and Diversity Admissions at North Carolina a and State University. So excited to talk to you today about a and I'm also excited because I have two of my Aggie ambassadors on with me as well, who will assist with answering your questions whether in the Q&A, and they'll also answer questions at the end as well. Definitely wants you to hear about student life from the student perspective at a and So let's talk about joining the Aggie family. Our Aggie highlights, we were founded in 1891 as a land-grant university. We're a STEM-focused institution. Of course, it's science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, but we do have amazing majors outside of STEM as well. We're also a doctoral research institution. In 2021, we have received a record 78.2 million in research funding. This allows us to have an impact not only amongst our students and our community, but it also allows us to have a global impact as well. We are proud of the fact that we are the largest HBCU with over 13,000 plus students. This includes undergraduate, graduate, and online students. And we're located in Greensboro, North Carolina. We have 54 majors at AT. Our average class size is 28. Our student to faculty ratio is 19 to 1, and our female to male ratio is 1 to 1. So even though we're the largest HBCU, we're excited because we still keep our class sizes small, which allows our students to have amazing student and faculty relationships. So at this time, I'll just highlight a few of the majors in each of our colleges, because again, we have 54. So in the College of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences, we have animal science, food and nutrition, fashion merchandising and design, child development and family studies. In the College of Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences, political science, pre-law, history, English, visual arts design, graphic design. In the Willie A.D.'s College of Business and Economics, business, accounting, marketing, economics. In the College of Education, elementary education. In the College of Engineering, architectural engineering, industrial engineering, computer science. In the John R. and Kathy R. Harrison College of Health and Human Sciences, nursing, social work, psychology, sociology, kinesiology. In the College of Science and Technology, information technology, chemistry, physics, biology, automotive engineering technology, and applied engineering technology. And again, I just highlighted a few. Academic support and resources. We want to make sure that our students at a and aren't just admitted to the university, but that they're successful while they're here and that they also graduate. We have a Center for Academic Excellence. This is our student support hub where our students can receive tutoring and academic advising. If you come to a and and you're undecided or you're undeclared, that's perfectly fine. We have academic advisors in the Center for Academic Excellence that assist our undecided and undeclared students with completing assessments that help them choose the perfect major for them. Our students have studied in over 200 plus countries. The amazing part about our study abroad opportunities is that you too can study abroad regardless of your financial background. At a and we assist our students with studying abroad so that there's no financial hardship for them. We also assist our students with obtaining a passport as well. We have an amazing Office of Career Services that use a handshake recruitment tool. With Handshake, they receive emails and notifications that assist them with resume revisions, LinkedIn profile updates, and mock interviews. They train our students to make sure that they're prepared when it's time to go in front of employers for internship opportunities, co-op opportunities, full-time job opportunities, and even graduate school interviews as well. We have several career fairs out of the year where Fortune 500 companies come to a and just to recruit our Aggies. Student life, athletics, we're part of the Division I Big South Conference, and we have 17 athletic teams. 
a month ago, we were able to watch our Aggie track athletes in the Olympics, and that was amazing. We've also had football players go off to the NFL. We love watching our men's and women's basketball team in Corbett Sports Center, and all of our athletic teams are doing well. From our baseball team to our volleyball team, they are all excelling. So the amazing part about athletics is if you come to a and and we don't have and you're not a part of one of our athletic teams, you too can be active by being a part of our intramural sports teams. We have over 160 plus organizations and clubs for our students to choose from. If you come to a and we don't have an organization that you're interested in, you have the ability to create an organization. With our housing, we have 16 residence halls and they vary from singles, doubles, suite styles, private, even apartments. We also have living learning communities where like-minded students have the ability not only to live together, but also study together as well. So let's talk about new freshman admissions. If you choose to come to a and when we're looking at your admissions application, we look for minimum course requirements. And you see those listed on the screen. Our average student profile for our class that came in August of 2021, their weighted GPA was a 3.697 and the out-of-state weighted GPA was a 3.933. And again, that is an average, so we do admit above and below. If you're interested in majoring in one of our majors in the Willie A.D.'s College of Business and Economics, you must have at least a 3.0 high school weighted high school GPA, and we are test optional for 2022. You do not have to submit test scores to be admitted to the university. If you're interested in the College of Engineering and you can see all of the majors listed on the screen, you must have at least a 3.2 weighted GPA or higher. Because they're not looking at test scores, they are looking for pre-calculus as the advanced math. If you're interested in nursing, you must have a 3.5 or higher weighted GPA. We do accept AP, IB, and Cambridge scores. Those test scores must be sent, submitted directly from the testing agency. If you're taking dual enrol enrollment credits while you're in high school, we also have a transfer credit articulation tool on our website that will show you how your courses that you have taken will transfer over here at a and In order for courses, okay, thank you. <laughs> I know the six minutes, it just does absolutely, absolutely fly by, Chanel. But please make sure we get your contact information in the chat. You can drop a couple links to those pages too. Remember to all of our representatives and to our students, don't forget to put info in the chat for our panelists and for our students to grab that information. All right, we are moving on. Uh, our next school that we're going to be learning about is the University of Arkansas Pine Bluff. Good morning, everyone. I am Constance Castle and I'm with the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. I serve in the Office of Recruitment and also Adjunct Instructor. And I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you guys um, because I, I do have some information that I want to share with you all. Um, you see here from the beginning, we start recruiting early um, with all of our students. We want to nurture that relationship uh, as early as possible. So we want to invite you out to our campus because we have a lot of great programs on our campus. Uh, such as we do farming, we do wildlife fisheries. So we have aquaculture fisheries and we also have agriculture and we have a, a lot of farmland and a lot of areas. We have goats, cows, pigs. So we have a lot of nature on our campus, horses as well. So the, the younger generation really loves to come out and visit with us so that they can see these things early on. The next slide, I want you to imagine yourself here with us here at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. We want you to become a part of the pie. We encourage you to go ahead and apply now. Application has already opened. It opened July 1 for admissions. The applications for scholarships is already open as well. We offer uh, several different scholarships, and I'm going to scroll down because I'm going to talk about that as well, as well as what it costs without a scholarship for you to attend UAPB. You see uh, some of our recruitment team here. We've also added two others to our recruitment team, Mr. Demetrius Johnson, whom I'm, I am stepping in for it on today, and then Ms. Deja Marshall. Both of them are recent graduates here at the university, and they are excited about coming back to their own university to recruit students to come here. 
a few quick facts about us. We are the oldest institution in the state of Arkansas. We were founded in 1873, uh, roughly about eight years after slavery had ended. We are the second oldest institution in the entire state. We serve uh, mostly the Delta area, Southeast Arkansas, but we are open to everyone to come down. We are a smaller university. We have roughly about 3,000 students, but we pride ourselves on being small. For those students that say, well, I'm not quite ready to enter into the larger RAM, I really uh, don't like being in classroom sizes of 100 or more students. Uh, we have the smaller classroom sizes. We are roughly um, 1 in 16, 1 in 18 students per class, which again offers an awesome opportunity to build that relationship with your instructor. We also have an awesome student success team who can help you maneuver once you come to campus. They help you maneuver until you're able to do some of the maneuvering on your own. So we, we are set up here and we have an awesome, uh, awesome uh, enrollment management program that allows you to go through and matriculate until you graduate. We have 52 degree programs, 30 of those are bachelors. We just added this summer, we added two more master's degree programs on our campus. So that brings us to 10. So we added an MBA, Master's of Business Administration, and we also added a, a health and science program in the education department. We have the only PhD program here in our area, which is a PhD in aquaculture, agriculture, fisheries. We also have seven associate degrees and six, six certificates. We have a female to male population of 52% to 48%. And again, a student-teacher ratio is smaller, one in 16, one in 18. We have 14 Division I athletic programs here on our campus. So you can feel free to partake in any of those. But we also have intramural, intramural sports as well. Admission requirements this year, we're asking that our students at least have a 15 and a 2.0 grade point average in order to come to our campus. Um, you can join UAPB. But we also want to make sure that you don't forget that even if you uh, don't have the scores to enter into UAPB, we will check to see because we can be uh, text uh, flexible at this time. But for scholarship requirements, we are requiring you to have the ACT or the SAT. You do have to abide by those rules for that. So please go ahead and be admitted. Our application fee can be waived. Just click, click, just simply click on waiver and go ahead and you can send that to us as well. So don't worry about your application fee. Go ahead and click waiver. Uh, for, for those students that are outside the state of Arkansas, it roughly costs you about $10,100 to come to our campus. And that's if you take 15 college credit hours, that's your dormitory room and your meal plan, as well as uh, your other fees. And fees will vary depending on what, where you are. You know, freshman fees are generally higher. And as you continue to matriculate, those fees will go down. But for those students that uh, typically take 15 college credit hours, it's roughly about $10,000. You take over 15 college credit hours, uh, those will apply. So $10,200 or so. For our scholarships, we have several different scholarships on our campus. We have uh, our Chancellor's Full Ride Scholarship, $16,500 per school year, 3.75, 28 on the ACT. We also have our University Scholarship, 3.5 grade point average and a 23 on the ACT. The Chancellor's Full Ride Scholarship pays for everything. The University Scholarship will pay for your tuition, your dormitory room, and your meal plan. You have to pay for your fees. Our Dean's Tuition Scholarship, 3.25 grade point average and a 21 on the ACT will cover your tuition. And all three of these are four-year scholarships. Our leadership scholarship, Golden Line scholarship, those are smaller scholarships that will assist you with your tuition, but they are also for four years. Our diversity scholarship is also a $1,500 scholarship, 3.0 grade point average and a 19 on the ACT or the equivalent on the SAT. So we want to make sure you understand that. And we have several other programs on our campus. Our STEM Academy, it pays you $1,200 during the summer and $200 a month until you graduate. And we also have a summer bridge program called the Lions Program. We are so grateful to have this opportunity to present and I'm going to stick some links in the chat for you guys. If you have any questions, I'll be sure to answer them for you. Thanks so much. Thank you so much, Constance, for sharing the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff this morning. All right, we're on to our sixth school. Our next presentation is going to be from Alabama State University. Can everybody see me? Yes, I can see you, hear you, and the screen is shared, Cedric, so. Okay, great. So since we're limited on time, I'm going to jump right into it. 
Uh, good, good morning from the Alabama State University. My name is Cedric Potts. I'm a district recruiter here and also an alumni of the Alabama State University. So I'm gonna jump right into it. We have 62 different <clears throat> degree programs, everything from uh, accounting, finance, <clears throat> computer information systems, biology, pre-health for my people looking into nursing, uh, biomedical engineering, uh, music, theater, art, dance, health information, uh, just pretty much anything that you're looking for, uh, all the way to marine biology. So we also have the number one physical therapy program and occupational therapy program in the state of Alabama. Uh, we only accept 24 students a year for the physical therapy program, and we have over 200 applicants, and we accept 32 students per year for the occupational therapy program, and we still get about 200 to 300 applications. So it's, very, it's a very good program, but it's also very competitive. But we're going to go into talking to admissions since I want to speak to my high school seniors. So if you look on the screen here, you'll see everything listed, uh, the GPA requirements and the ACT requirements. But as of now, we're waiving the ACT and the SAT. So all you need is a 2.75 to be admitted unless you wanna compete for one of these scholarships here, which start at the lowest of our black and gold scholarship for a 2.75 GPA and a 18 on the ACT score, which goes all the way up to our full ride presidential scholarship with a 3.76 GPA and a 26 on the ACT. So we are originally a teacher's college, meaning we have just about every educational degree that you could be looking for from elementary education, early childhood, secondary, and so forth. Music education, physical education, and those programs, some of them go all the way up to the PhD program. We also offer special degrees. So with that being said, and I also wanna list the, uh, the cost. So I know a lot of people look at the cost of college and it's really expensive, especially for my students out of state that look into coming to Alabama State, and there's about a almost a seven thousand to ten thousand dollar difference in um, uh, tuition and admissions. So, with that being said, I'm going to go into this PowerPoint. So here, so of course, um, speaking to my out of state students, like I was just mentioning, what I really want to show you guys is something that we have. Our president, Quentin T. Ross Jr. He created something called the President's Promise Scholarship. So with that, you don't even have to apply. For any student that resides out of the state of Alabama, if you look here, this is the criteria. All of your tuition and costs will be transferred to that of a in-state student. So all you need is to, be, to have a, is a 2.75 GPA, must be enrolled full-time. And like I said before, you must reside outside of the state of Alabama. And it's for entering freshmen, for the fall or the spring, um, it's, it's a really great thing that I think that it was genius that our president created. And it basically cuts your costs from, like I said, seven to $10,000 more for the in-state students, for out-of-state students down to the cost of the in-state students. So now that we spoke a little bit about education, I'm gonna go into how it is like uh, for student life, we do a lot of fun things, especially for freshmen. We have a lot of different organizations. We have all of the Divine Nine. Of course, like uh, one of the greatest fraternities, Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, Alpha Kappa Alpha, Alpha Phi Alpha, and so forth. Uh, at our university, there is something for everybody. No matter if you're into dance, we have D5D, which is Dance by Dance. If you're more into business, we have Phi Beta Lambda. If you're into singing, uh, art, we have Sigma Alpha Iota. There is pretty much something for every student at our university and our campus. Of course, if I didn't mention already, we are an HBCU founded in uh, 1867 in Marion, Alabama, went through a number of name changes such as Alabama State Teachers College, Alabama State College for Negroes and so forth until we're located now in Montgomery, Alabama and known as Alabama State University. We have between five and 6,000 students, about 11 to 12, including the apartment style dorms, residential halls and dormitories on campus. Um, majority female for every one male there's three females so and i think that's because we started off as a teacher's college and of course more still more teachers are women more than men uh, we have 10 different uh, sports programs we are a d1 athletic school so from football base football basketball men and women's track and field indoor and outdoor baseball softball volleyball uh, even golf and bowling so we have a number of different sports programs um, I graduated in 2016, uh, got there in 2011, completely changed my life for the better. I loved every single part of it, and I loved it so much that I decided to come back 
and become a district recruiter and tell other people about our great HBCU. Since we are D1 athletic school and we have all of these sports, of course we have the band. Alabama State University has the best band in the land. If you haven't heard, uh, we've been featured on TV. We've had our own TV shows such as Bama State Style on, that was uh, on Lifetime Network. We also have, of course, our honeybees, our plus size dance girls. So we have something for everybody. They've been featured on America's Next uh, Top Talent. They've been featured on the Steve Harvey Show. And of course, our dance girls, which are the Stingettes, are always featured on TV, very well known. They were just on TV, I wanna say about a week ago, on Tiana Taylor's TV, um, TV program that's gonna be coming out soon. So with all of that being said, I'm gonna go right back into where I started at so we can get another look at all of these admissions requirements, scholarship information, and all the degree programs that we have to offer. So not only do we have everything you would need as far as education wise, but we also have a great student life, many different organizations, clubs that you can start for yourself and many different sports programs that'll fit your needs. Thank you so much, Cedric, for presenting on Alabama State University and uh, rounding off our six by six. All right, well, we still have a few minutes together. The Q&A has been amazing. I wanna make sure that all of our attendees have a chance to drop any more questions into the Q&A and to make sure that Cedric and other uh, presenters can get any other information in the chat that they wanna share. Um, so while we do that, I would like to invite everyone to um, come back on screen. One representative from each school to come back on camera. And we're gonna do a live Q&A question together. Um, you know, you have all shared such amazing information about each of your schools. Um, and we also know for the students watching that the college search process and diving into that is such a, uh, it's such a big thing. And we know the Yes Prep students have amazing support and resources through their schools, but we also have a bunch of professionals right here with advice. So I would love to hear from each of you a piece of advice, a top tip about the college search process um, that you would like to share with students. Um, we're going to go in the exact same order that we presented. So we're going to start with um, Arkansas Baptist College. We'll wind our way through each school, so one through six. And uh, as the person ahead of you finishes, just feel free to turn on your microphone and um, and answer the question. So everyone, we can have uh, one one representative from each school come back live on camera would be great. Hey, so Jim. you can stay on camera the whole time. Hey, Jennifer, it's saying that you have to cut my video back on. Oh, yep, sorry about that. Let me grab that for you, thanks. Sorry, that was for the change earlier. So there we go. Thanks, Nicholas. All right. Okay, there we go, thank you. Yeah, you're good, you're back. Thank uh, you. What advice would I give someone going through the college search process? Find a school that best fits you. So as I like to tell most students here in a nutshell, if you're, if you're at a big high school and you don't like going to a big high school, then you're not gonna like going to a big institution. You have to find the institution that fits you and caters to, to your needs. And sometimes those institutions may not be the big named institutions that you see all the time, but it, it, the more you do your research, the more you'll find the institution that fits you. Florida Memorial, Gail, you can go next. Yeah, um, I would say uh, one of the same things, but also um, go where you're wanted and not tolerated. I think that's a big thing. Um, I was a student athlete, and so, um, I, you know, I went to a school that actually wanted me, not tolerated me, um, and all, amongst all these amazing HBCUs here, um, go to a school that would want you. Howard? Uh, great. Um, what everyone has said so far has been great. Um, I would add to that, really know yourself, what type of environment you want to be around, but also uh, uh, set yourself up for success in not only discovering yourself, but building your network, because these are, I'm still in touch with my college friends at um, both Spelman and Howard and beyond. And this will become your network later on in life too. So not only what you're studying, but as you're discovering yourself and also be, you know, be yourself when you're answering those, um, those essay questions because they, they wanna know about your experience and what you, you can bring to the table so that you can uh, add, truly add who you are to the college because that's, that's a value. So this is an exciting time for you guys and I'm, I'm excited for you. 
Thank you. NC A and um, As a current student and as a transfer student, I would definitely recommend that you take your time. Um, don't feel like you have to be in a rush to know the answer or choose a school or know where you're going or have a definite decision. Um, and I would just say, you know, take time to explore, not even necessarily just the university that you 100% know that you want to go to, um, but even look into the university that you don't think you might like, um, because that will definitely help you um, to get a broader scope of, you know, exactly where you want to go and exactly what you want to do outside of maybe like a name um, or a specific institution. That would be my advice. All of these are, are great. Um, I would just say um, to add something just a bit differently. Also look at your finances. Uh, you guys know what you can spend and what your parents can spend and what you can't. Um, evaluate those schools and look at the ones that you know you want to go to, uh, just as uh, Mr. King said, and look at the ones you don't want to go to, but also look at the scholarship money that you maybe one that you're not quite, you know, set on, but you receive that scholarship money, but they still offer some of the other things that you need, like your area of major. They may offer also the uh, student activities that you would like to partake in. Look at the scholarship money that you can receive from the different schools and then add up uh, your costs. And then that way you won't be such, such a hardship on your family. like everybody's pretty much touched on everything by now. Um, well, if I could get a, a little bit more relaxed advice, I would definitely say um, a lot of these schools, uh, when I speak to students, uh, they haven't heard of them uh, as far as how their campus looks, where the location is. They'll hear about the sports team. They'll hear about the awesome, uh, like the dance girls, like our Stingettes. I hear a lot of students that say, oh my God, I wanna be one of them so bad. And they don't really look into the education part of um, what they have to offer as far as different majors. Um, like some of the other um, attendees said, they don't look at cost and scholarship. So I would employ students to even like just get on Google. Uh, we have all of this technology at our fingertips to search for, you know, um, how the campus looks, how large is the campus, uh, the cost, and what you can do to offset that cost as far as scholarships go. So uh, just don't look at everything that's going to be fun. You know, I, I get it. You only get one college experience. You definitely want to go to a place where you're going to be comfortable. Uh, you only get to get that experience once while you're young. So yes, go where it is you want to go, but just do a little background research on some of the little end up things. I love the range of, of advice and tips. You know, I hope that students are taking away that these admissions staff and the representatives, the students are incredible people who are passionate about what they do, what happens on campus. They wanna answer all your questions. So remember, this is just a quick six minute peek. We hope that you'll follow up and check out and learn even more about what all of the campuses have to offer after today. Thank you representatives for bringing the passion, the facts, the figures, but really that excitement about what happens on your campus for your students in and out of the classroom and then after graduation. All right, well, we have reached the end. So attendees, as you close your window, you will find that you're linked to a very quick five question survey. We hope you'll answer that. We also hope you're signed up for the yes prep sessions that are to come so you can learn about more outstanding schools. And don't forget, this session and all session recordings will be available at strivescan.com slash yes prep for you to watch again or share with family and friends. Thanks again, everyone, for taking time out of your day to be here and best wishes to you and your families in the year ahead. Bye, everyone.